Look at this, ECG, normal sinus rhythm, P wave, QRS, T wave, everything seems fine. Then suddenly nothing. A flat line, no P wave, no QRS, just silent. Five full seconds pass before the rhythm returns. What just happened? Was this a heart block, a malfunctioning lead, or something more subtle? This is not ventricular fibrillation. It is not a heart attack. In fact, it starts where every heartbeat begins in the sinus node. You are looking at a sinus arrest, and in this video, we are going to break down what that really means, how it differs from a sinus pause, what causes it, how to recognize it on ECG, and why it might be the most silent danger hiding in plain sight. First, we need to understand the sinus node itself. The sinus node, also called the sinoatrial node, is a small group of pacemaker cells located in the upper right atrium of the heart. It generates electrical impulses that set the pace for the heart typically 60 to 100 times per minute. When the sinus node works properly, every heartbeat starts here. But what happens if and when it fails? That's the topic for today's lesson. Good news is, it doesn't fail much often or permanently, but when it fails even for a moment, we get a pause in the rhythm. That pause can be short or long, predictable or random, and depending on those features, it can be classified as a sinus pause or a sinus arrest. So what exactly is a sinus pause? A sinus pause is a brief failure of the sinus node to generate an impulse. On an ECG, you will see a sudden break in the rhythm. A P wave is missing. But after a short gap, the rhythm picks back up in perfect sync. The timing is preserved. It is as if the sinus node skipped a beat, then got back on schedule. Now compare that to sinus arrest. Sinus arrest is a longer, unpredictable failure of the sinus node. There is no P wave, no electrical activity, no heartbeat, and unlike sinus pause, the timing is not a multiple of the previous rhythm. It is irregular, off schedule, and sometimes it is followed by an escape beat. Let us take a closer look at that on ECG. Here's a regular sinus rhythm. We see consistent P to P intervals. Then a sudden break. No P wave, no QRS, flat baseline. In a sinus pause, the next P wave appears exactly where the next beat would have been if the rhythm had continued normally. That suggests the impulse was delayed, but the node recovered quickly. But in sinus arrest, the next P wave comes late, the pause is not consistent with the previous intervals. It suggests the sinus node failed completely and the heart had to restart on a new rhythm or rely on an escape beat. Now the big question, why does this happen? There are a few common causes. First, increased vagal tone. This happens often during sleep or in well-trained athletes. The vagus nerve slows the sinus node, sometimes to the point where it pauses. Second, medications. Drugs like beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, digoxin, and some antiarrhythmics can suppress the sinus node and cause pauses or arrest. Third, intrinsic sinus node disease, often called sick sinus syndrome. This is where the sinus node becomes damaged due to aging, fibrosis, or ischemia, often after a heart attack. Other causes include electrolyte disturbances, especially high potassium, hypothyroidism, and some infections or inflammatory conditions affecting the heart. So what happens to the heart during that pause? If the sinus node fails and no impulse is generated, the heart must rely on a backup called an escape rhythm. The most common is a junctional escape rhythm coming from the AV node. These beats are slower, uh, around 40 to 60 beats per minute, but they are enough to keep the blood flowing. If the AV node fails too, the ventricles may generate a rhythm on their own. This is a ventricular escape rhythm, even slower, around 20 to 40 beats per minute. But if no escape beat occurs at all, the result is asystole, a flat line. That is when sinus arrest becomes life-threatening. In some cases, patients may have brief seizures or fall injuries because of sudden loss of consciousness. Now, what do we do about it? Diagnosis often requires long-term monitoring. A standard ECG might miss a pause unless it happens during recording. 
That is why we use Holter monitors, event recorders, or even implantable loop recorders. Treatment depends on the cause and the severity. If the pause is due to medication, we may reduce the dose or stop the drug. If the pause is related to increased vagal tone and causes no symptoms, no treatment may be needed. But if the patient is symptomatic, or if the sinus arrest lasts longer than three seconds while awake, we consider a pacemaker. A pacemaker is a small device implanted under the skin, usually near the collarbone. It sends out electrical impulses to keep the heart beating when the sinus node fails. Let us revisit the ECG we saw at the beginning. The flat line was a sinus arrest. There was no sinus node activity, but after five seconds, a junctional escape rhythm took over, the heart restarted. Now imagine if that escape rhythm had not arrived in time, that patient might have lost consciousness. Worse, they might not have recovered. That is the danger and the importance of recognizing sinus node dysfunction. So here is what you need to remember. Sinus pause is a short, usually benign failure of the sinus node. The timing is regular. The rhythm picks up where it left off. Sinus arrest is a longer, unpredictable pause. The timing is irregular. It may be followed by an escape beat or not. Both are visible on ECG as gaps in rhythm. Both can be caused by high vagal tone, medications, or underlying heart disease. And both may require a pacemaker if they cause symptoms or risk. Understanding sinus pauses and arrests means understanding where each heartbeat begins and what happens when that beginning goes missing. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe. And let us know in the comments if you have ever seen a case of sinus arrest on the monitor, in the clinic, or in your own life. Because sometimes it is the beat that is missing that matters the most.